Oh my gosh. I was scared to death that they were just going to go, Pfft. I can't eat this for the life of me. So it hit that soft palate and went Pfft. swallowing tube here. There's nothing I could do. It stuck and you can't shove the whole thing in your mouth anymore. I would be so afraid that I'd just blow my dentures right out of my mouth. Things I can't do anymore now that I have dentures. There's a few things I, I just can't do. You might be different, and if there's something that you can't do because you have dentures, you're wearing dentures, tell me in the comments. I'm interested to know if anything that I have is something similar to you or if you have something different that you can't do first of all my granddaughter she's so freaking cute okay she's gonna be two here soon well she was watching a cartoon and the guy on the cartoon had a balloon they were playing the game keepy uppy keepy uppy you know the old balloon game you toss it around and all that and i'm like oh i have a balloon i have a balloon i have from i don't know why i have this balloon i have a balloon so i went and got my balloon stretched it did all the things and i'm like oh my gosh the pressure and i'm like i can't blow up this balloon i mean it could but it was like this is weird because it feels like i'm going to blow my dentures right out of my mouth along with this balloon so i'm blowing carefully now trying to like I, my teeth aren't going to go anywhere i don't think but i'm still trying to clench and blow so blowing up a balloon that that's interesting now are you a trumpet player or any of the instruments brass instruments or anything and wear dentures let me know tell me in the comments i used to be a trumpet player and i'm thinking there's no way i'd even want to try that now with, uh, with this top plate and all this i would be so afraid that i just blow my dentures right out of my mouth with the music i don't i don't know Reese peanut butter cups that is the first candy bar that i had after i got my dentures now can i still eat it yes i can still eat it but you can't shove the whole thing in your mouth anymore because it ends up getting stuck on the top which i choked too on something else all right i'll tell you that in a minute the peanut butter slicks down the top of your denture and now you've got Reese peanut butter and chocolate all up here and it's stuck in so some candy bars that you eat with caramel or peanut butter in them might be a little harder to eat it is for me sneezing and coughing when i sneeze it's like the first time i sneeze with my dentures i'm like oh no i i was scared to death that they were just gonna go Pfft, when i sneezed well they didn't but i take precautions when i sneeze now i kind of am aware and i kind of like chew and just bite a little bit just so nothing comes out or gets knocked out because there's sometimes I don't wear adhesive in my dentures sometimes I do and it's just like mm, yeah, sneezing's different it's different now to sneeze or cough for that matter now here's something I just can't eat I can't eat this for the life of me is Slim Jims you know the beef jerky with the, the outer casing on them and you can get them like the cheese stick in the beef stick love those love those it is a fatter beef stick it is very hard for me to bite into a beef stick with that outer coating on there it's just hard for me to do i have to like tear it off and i know we were traveling not too long ago and they had homemade beef jerky at the gas station whatever at the gas station we, i'm like hey let's try this i couldn't eat any of it because the casing on it was so thick i couldn't even chew it when i first got my dentures my immediate dentures and i had my teeth pulled out i couldn't eat a pickle i could not eat a pickle for the longest time i could not eat a pickle like when you get a hamburger and there's a pickle on it i never could eat the pickle I just couldn't do it. It took me months, months to be able to eat the pickle that was on the hamburger. And the day that I ate the pickle that was on the hamburger was a win. I celebrated that pickle. I celebrated that stupid pickle. And I'm told Robin, I'm like, I know this might sound crazy, but I just, I just ate a pickle. I ate the pickle. I was excited. Something else that I can't do is biting into a carrot. And you know how I have my, I'm a garden out there. I don't know if you guys seen it. I have big raised bed gardens and I posted a video not too long ago, my garden tour. I like to grow carrots. I like to like go out there with my hose, pull one out of the ground with the hose, wipe it off and eat it. I tried doing that this year. I did. I tried biting into this really hard carrot because it was a hard carrot, a big carrot, big fat hard carrot. It wasn't a little carrot. It was a big one. 
I tried biting into that carrot and for the life of me, I couldn't do it. I could do it on the side, but straight on in the front, I couldn't do it. But I can eat apples and stuff like that, but something about that carrot, I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. Oh, let me tell you my choking story first, all right? Because I really did choke. I was eating corn chips, not just one. I had a whole handful. Because you know, sometimes like, what were they? They were Doritos actually, I was eating Doritos. So I had like, three or four of them in my hand instead of eating like one or two at a time I shoved the whole handful in my mouth because I had to go do something so here I am I had a handful of Doritos and I'm just kind of well one of them got stuck up on my top palate it was just there and it started sliding and there was nothing I could do I couldn't it, it was just sliding going down the back of my throat and it actually went down my throat it just hit that palate and it just slid. Now, this isn't gonna happen to you unless you're wanting to eat a handful of Doritos, which I, I suggest that you don't do. But I had that Dorito hit and it slid down the back of my throat. Now, I have two neck fusions already. I'm fused, I'm just like in four spots, I'm fused when down the road. I have a narrowing throat because of that. So when I swallow, I have to like swallow straight on. If I turn my head and swallow, it does something to my swallowing tube here I, I don't know what else to call that in my throat I guess we could call it the throat couldn't we throat throat yeah so when I turn my head and swallow I have a ledge I have a ledge that things just get stuck so here this chip came down my throat and it lodged here because it hit that soft palate and went and it was lodged and I'm like oh, I could still breathe and everything but it would really hurt so I just started drinking water and it took some time, but eventually it, it dissolved it and kind of just went down on its own. So be careful, don't shove handfuls of things in your mouth and think it's gonna be okay. Maybe a half a handful you might have to go down to, but not the whole handful because things get stuck on that top palate once in a while, like just straight up bread. This, I just toasted this, but if you're gonna eat bread like a sandwich or anything, plan on it getting stuck on that top palate. It's going to happen, it's normal, it happens to all of us, but that's gonna happen. You're gonna, you're gonna have to just take your finger and slide it out. Honey, I've been doing okay with honey. I like, I do like honey. And I've been doing okay with that. Caramels and things like that, I suck on them and get them warm in my mouth and then chew them. Those are a few things I'm having trouble doing with my dentures now. Is there anything that you're, you can't do or you're having trouble with or, things are different for you or just, just let me know in the comments. I'm interested. I read all my comments. So tell me down below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.